March 1st, 2017, and it's a really crummy day. A lot different than the record highs that we've been having lately. But today I'm gonna to talk about peach leaf curl, which is a fungal disease. And this is my remaining peach tree in the background. And uh, I just finished pruning it, and now it needs to be treated for this particular disease. So what is peach leaf curl anyway? Well, one thing, it's a fungus disease of peaches and nectarines, and it infects the leaves. And when the infection's really bad, it can defoliate the trees. Of course, uh, this happens early in the season, and because of that, uh, it'll reduce the overall size of the fruit, which is not something that you want. It also will weaken the tree in terms of its growth because it doesn't have the leaves to produce the uh, sugars that the tree needs to grow vigorously. So what symptoms do you look for for this particular disease? Normally, by the time people notice it, it's already too late, the infection's already taken place. And what people see is puckered, uh, or you might say thick leaves, they tend to be light green, then they turn to a yellow, to a reddish, and as the disease progresses, they turn brown, dry up, and fall off of the tree. And um, the infections usually take place in the spring, just before or as the buds are beginning to open. Now this year, it's 2017, and because we've had some unusually high temperatures in February, with a few days where we've actually had record highs, uh, treatment is now being recommended by Michigan State University. But normally, when the uh, buds are just beginning to swell, uh, that's when you need to treat for this particular problem. Now the fungus infects the peach tree buds, and um, they, as most fungal diseases uh, do, they do well when we have wet conditions. When the air temperatures are between 50 and 70 degrees, that's ideal for infection. And uh, as I mentioned, we've had temperatures in the 50s and 60s for more than a week in February, which is very unusual. Our average temperature is usually about 30. So also when it rains or you have a prolonged dew present on the leaves, the spores are able to move through the water and they get to the buds as they open and the infection happens in the young tissue. And if we have prolonged cool wet weather uh, during the time that the buds are beginning to swell, we will have a very severe infection. And uh, of course, that's not something we want to have. So the treatment, of course, is going to be in early spring at or, begin, at or before the buds begin to swell. And it'll help to control this disease, but the timing is critical. If you miss the ideal timing and you spray a little bit later, you may keep the um, disease down, you reduce the severity of the disease. But once the leaves are infected, there's not much you can do about it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the leaves are infected while they're still in the bud stage. And uh, once the leaves have already emerged, they're no longer susceptible to infection. So there's a very short window when this disease can get started. Then as the tree uh, grows new leaves, um, it can recover from this disease. And you can invigorate the tree and encourage the growth of new leaves by adding some extra nitrogen. Um, and it's important that you do this because if the tree doesn't have sufficient leaves, you'll tend to have smaller fruit. And if you wanted to go to the farmer's market or something, then um, you're gonna have inferior quality fruit. So what do we do about this? How do we treat it? Well, there are some fungicides that are readily available, and one is called chlorothalonil. It's also called daconil, and there are a number of companies that uh, make this. If you are an organic grower, you're going to use a copper product. And uh, a couple of products are here on the screen, um, copper spray and liquid cop. Um, it's important to know, though, if you are a, a certified organic grower, then it has to have the OMRI label, which is the Organic Materials and Review Institute label on it in order for it to be legit. Now, copper products um, are not all labeled for use for organic growing because sometimes they'll add materials in there that aren't acceptable to OMRI. So you need to look on uh, the, um, the container to see if that's on there. Now, most locations may not have these products, so you may have to go on Amazon or some other place to order them. Now, the one time that you treat is normally in the spring, and we've talked about the timing on that, but you can help get some control by repeating the treatment in the fall when 90% of the flowers have fallen off of the trees. And um, as I said, this isn't a super serious disease, but it does have an effect on the quality of the tree and the fruit, and at least in our state where the big three, um, peach tree borer, uh, perennial canker, and winter injury can really weaken the trees or even kill them, the last thing we need is another defoliating disease to weaken the trees further. So I hope this tip is uh, helpful to you, and I'm going inside because it is cold and rainy out here. 
See you later.